<laughs> what do you guys think? What do you think? <laughs> Big smiles on everyone's faces okay. on that one. Okay. I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Well, today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. I have a friend of the channel, Bob Jennings, and he has, well, an amazing wing car for you. Bob, what your make and model is this one? Lou, we have another 1970 Plymouth Superbird. It's a 444 barrel automatic survivor. How many miles on this one? 28,970 actual <laughs> certified miles on this car, Lou. Wow, what a car. Come on along with me. Come on this way, Bob, and let's take a look. Now look at the nose on that. And this was specifically designed for racing at the time. They had to make so money for the street. How many Superbirds did they make, Bob? 1,935 is the unofficial official number, Lou. Look at that. And all you collect are the wing cars. All I've got, I have nine Superbirds and two Daytonas. Now why just the wing cars? Um, when about eight years ago, uh, we had a worldwide pandemic that uh, people called COVID. Now this is before that, I caught the bird flu. There's no known <laughs> cure for the bird flu. So I started to collect them a little more than eight years ago. The super bird flu, that's great. Was it something like when you were a kid, you always wanted one or how did that work? Well, Lou, if you remember, I, I worked as a Chrysler mechanic while I went to college at night and uh, you'd read about these things in magazines and I always thought that may be the ugliest vehicle I've ever seen and by God, I gotta have one. <laughs> and here we are now, 54 years later. There's some differences from the Charger, this post, the back window. What are, what are some of the other differences than a Charger in this year? Because it has the, uh, the, the Roadrunner back end on it. Yeah, the uh, 70 Charger, of course, had all Charger front end. This has got uh, some Dodge Coronet parts on it. Uh, the front end on these. Okay. Now, if you're comparing it to the Daytona, yeah. there are a lot of not as visible things, but for example, the wing height and wing angle is different on a Daytona. The uh, hood scoops are functional on a Daytona. They're not functional on here. Of course, the Daytona is built on a Charger body, a 69 Charger body. This is on a 70 Roadrunner body. Yeah. Uh, different back windows. Very few parts are interchangeable, actually. That's interesting. Let's show the back of it for a moment. I'll let people take that in. <laughs> I could not get Survivor, so I got Survivor. Nice. That's great stuff right there. And we got the Plymouth there and there. Let's open up the trunk, shall we? How did the paint stay in this kind of condition? This car pretty much stayed in a dealer's showroom oh. for 40 of the 50 years, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Really? Let me just show this. That's the build sheet. Wow. And it's certified here. Got that. Wow, that looks, looks great. You can see that. That looks great there. The spare has never been out of the trunk. The polyglass with the white with the white wall. Wow. All right, we'll close that. May I open it? Certainly. Please Thank do. you. When we come over here. We have your build date. Your silver around the trim there. This one's an automatic with the 440. You could get a stick shift in this car, but this one didn't have that. But heck, the miles is unbelievable. No tack. Nope. This was a pretty bare bones Superbird at the time. Wow. Wow. What's it feel like driving a new car? Because that's what this is about as close as, as you can get. This is about as close as you could get. That's right. But it doesn't have air. It doesn't have cruise. It doesn't have a good radio. 
but it brings a lot of smiles when you drive it. <laughs> we had some smiles when you were driving. Richard Petty signed your car. That's yeah. a good sign. Let's pop the hood, shall okay. we? That's our last piece here. The hood pins came with the car. That's how it was. That's warm. Yeah, that's got to be a little toasty. The Super Commando 440. Look at that. I like how the uh, exhaust manifolds go up like that. That's great. Bob, let's uh, give it a second. Let's uh, fire this one up, shall we? We're going to have to the voice of the Plymouth Roadrunner. We'll have to beep the horn, so we'll start it up. We'll beep the horn. <laughs> Just let it idle for a second, Bob. Oh, that's nice. Can you step on the brakes for a moment while well, I got the back end and the... Sounds good. Listen to this. What a nice, sweet, mellow sound. Bob, give it a rev. <laughs> Bob, I think we need to take this one for a ride. What do you think? All right, let's do it. Bob and I are in the 70 Plymouth Superbird with less than 29,000 original miles on it. What an exciting car, right? These are such a pleasure to drive, and I tell you, just as much fun is watching the reaction of the people. As you noticed earlier, uh, as we were driving down uh, the, the headshot that you got, the people standing on the side of the road just waving and uh, yet <laughs> telling us to get on it. Uh, we didn't do that, <laughs> but they are such a pleasure. I yeah. love these cars. This is great. Can you show people where we're at? Nice little slow winding road as we drive out. Showing you a little back parts of Carlisle here as we get to the car show. Bob, you go to a lot of car shows. And, I, you know, I know you love all your Superbirds and your Daytonas, but, you know, it just seems like you magically come up with these amazing cars. Is this, do you have like a rabbit's foot or what? How does this work? <laughs> <laughs> I think, Lou, what happens is you develop a reputation. Okay. I'm a pretty straightforward and friendly guy. Yeah. And I also, so you have that reputation, but you also have a reputation of I take care of these cars and I don't resell them. I, I love these cars, so yeah. I respect these cars for what they are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just want to show people where we're going. How nice is that? So they reach out to me is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. A little two-lane road here. Looking at your super, I'll just show you what it looks like out the back too with your wing. There you go. Nice. We had just a little bit of a straightaway here. Those are not my tire tracks. <laughs> They're just an orange bird like this. Or tour red bird. Tour red bird. Wonderful. Bob, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for being a friend of the channel. I always enjoy calling you beforehand, seeing what we're gonna get, and you really surprised me this time. Thanks so much for being on my I car I appreciate story. it, Lou, and thank you for always helping support us. Folks, watch it, My Car Story with Lou. Thank you.